Hello everyone. In this episode, I want to discuss uh, how to deal with the sustainability risks under the SFDR. Similar as to the PIA statement and the sustainability factors, there is a distinction to be made between the obligations in applying with, with regard to sustainability risk on the entity level, so for financial market participants and those applying on the product level. On the entity level, you would need in a sustainability policy or in any other kind of policy document or procedure to be published on the website to explain how any sustainability risks, risks are uh, being taken into account in the investment decision-making procedure. And your risk management procedure or, and uh, policy would also need to be consistent with this. Uh, on the product level, you would for every type of product, regardless of its classification, whether it is an Article 6, 8 or 9 fund, need to uh, disclose how sustainability risks are integrated in the investment decisions being made for this product and how sustainability risks are affecting the return for, uh, of, of this financial product. So uh, for uh, individual products, uh, risk management department would need to consider whether there are any sustainability risks that might have a negative uh, uh, impact on the financial return. And also it follows from recital 12 and 15 of the SFDR that these risks need to be material. So if these risks are material, you would need to disclose it in the PPM or prospectus and in, a, in, in particularly in the risk factor uh, section. And then you would need not to copy paste the sustainabil uh, sustainability risk definition of the SFDR itself. No, you would need to shortly uh, explain what are sustainability risks and how it uh, is neg potentially negatively impacting returns on investment. And then you would also need to mention those uh, sustainability risks that are uh, materially uh, affecting for this product, uh, this return. Of course, you could then uh, use any sustainability factors uh, to consider and to align what uh, of these ESG elements would have such an impact and what wouldn't have such an impact. Having said that, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.